Trinidad and Tobago, jewels of the Caribbean Sea, sparkling brilliantly with a myriad of treasures. Anyone who knows these twin islands knows that there is something here for everyone, and that is their true treasure. The Tourism and Industrial Development Company of Trinidad and Tobago Limited, TITCO, has successfully been able to tap into this wellspring and improve upon it with beautification projects, building facilities and more, offering locals and visitors alike the opportunity to visit an abundance of interesting sites island-wide. Come along with us and explore the treasures within. We at TIPCO have a mandate to develop the non-energy sector in Trinidad and Tobago. Specifically, therefore, we have to develop industry and expand trade. On the other hand, we have to develop a vibrant and sustainable tourism industry. In respect of tourism, the basics of a tourism industry are food, accommodation, and attractions. It's called the golden triangle of tourism. Here we are dealing with the attractions aspect of tourism. And in Trinidad and Tobago, we are trying to develop all the facilities that we can. So we go to the rivers, we go to the beaches, and we look at the amenities and the facilities that we can develop and provide for our locals. Perhaps one of the most important elements that makes Trimbagonians unique is our rich and diverse heritage. And nowhere does this tapestry of stories and traditions come more alive than in our urban communities. We have developed several components of this tourism uh, project. And that is to say, we have done not only the rivers and not only the beaches, but we have also gone into the townships. In that regard, we have also done facilities in St. James, in Chaguanas, and in St. Joseph. In St. James, for example, we felt that there was a community in which food, attractions, entertainment, and so abound. And so we felt that we could enhance those facilities so that visitors, both local and foreign, can come there and generate greater economic activity, greater number of jobs, and incomes for our people. In Chaguanas, that's a growing township, and we felt that there was need for open spaces for persons when they are shopping and when they are moving around so that they can have some sort of a recreational space for themselves. In St. Joseph, it's a little bit different in that in St. Joseph, we are trying to preserve history. St. Joseph being the first capital of Trinidad and Tobago, we have there in that park tombs of our ancestors, our rulers from the time of discovery of Columbus right on to the, the English and the Spanish some centuries ago. Beaches are certainly great points of interest for visitors and TIDCO is seeking to ensure that every beautiful beach in Trinidad has facilities to match. At Vesany Beach, TITCO manages an impressive facility for guests, situated on one of the most well-visited beaches in South Trinidad. It is popular because of its pleasant bathing and modern facilities that ensure guests' safety and comfort. Other beautiful beaches along the southern coastline include Granville and Columbus Bay, both outfitted with great facilities for visitors. Quinnam Beach is also very popular, with its lush scenic surroundings perfect for a beach barbecue. Trinidad's east coast also boasts of a special allure, roads that wind endlessly along the shoreline, lined with miles of swaying coconut trees. From Manzanilla to Mayaro, a popular holiday haven, Titco has erected three beach facilities, one at the start of what is commonly called the Cocal, one at Church Road, and one at Pleasance Beach. The northeast coast also has some breathtaking spots. Marry the crashing Atlantic Ocean with the lush rainforest of Matura, and you'll find Celebia Beach. Picturesque, 
hugged by a cool, gentle river. It's an enjoyable destination for families because of its pleasant bathing and verdant tropical scenery. We are currently working with TEDCO in helping us to develop Celebia as the preferred tourist destination in Trinidad. Celebia has been blessed with a lot of natural attractions. You have the Rio Seco waterfall, we have Sulphur Spring, the Leatherback Turtle, we have Hogsbill and other exotic flora and fauna. SIG, which is the environmental organization, intend to, to get the people in this area a little more educated on the role of the environment and the part they play in helping it to remain in a healthy condition. We believe that if uh, tourism is to be sustainable, that we ought to have a clean, safe and healthy environment because without a clean environment, I don't think tourists would want to come to your area. The North Coast is known for its beautiful beaches as well, each with its own interesting charm. One of TIDCO's most popular facilities is the one at Las Cuevas, offering visitors a huge space to relax and enjoy the surrounding beauty. Going west from Las Cuevas is Trinidad's most well-known beach, Maracas Bay. Because this is such a popular destination for locals and visitors alike, TIDCO has invested significantly in the beach's facilities. From the attractive vendor stalls that sell tasty shark and bake, to the entertainment pavilion, to the lifeguard quarters that offer key lookout points for lifeguards to ensure bathers' safety. We have started to develop our river facilities I don't know if there's any Trinidadian who doesn't know about the, the, the traditional river line. Well, we think that's a valuable asset. In that respect, what we've done is that we've gone to two of the most popular uh, river destinations in Trinidad and Tobago, and we've put down basic amenities. Uh, these two destinations are Cora and Valencia. Uh, and what we've done is we've gone in and we've increased accessibility. Uh, in the case of Valencia, what used to be a wild, uh, undeveloped piece of land, we've put down a car park picnic facilities, benches, paved access way, and it is envisaged in the future that we'll put down uh, environmentally friendly toilet facilities and changing rooms. Uh, in Quora, what we've done to the existing facility there is put down uh, benches and picnic pads, facilities for people cooking at the river in an environmentally sound way. What this has all meant is that going to these river facilities now is quite a joy. Maracas Waterfall is a pleasant walk and a stunning sight. Discovered by the Spanish shortly after 1592, it is the thundering source of the St. Joseph River and cascades from an impressive height of 340 feet to the valley below. It remains a favorite trek for hikers and nature lovers to this day. As the roosting site of our protected national bird, the Scarlet Ibis, the Caroni Swamp is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Trinidad. Visitors are always spellbound by the swamp's rich beauty framed by a dotted red sky as the ibis come home to roost. The impressive facility, completed by TIDCO on behalf of the Forestry Division, offers everything from conference and function facilities to a gathering area and jetty for tours into the Karani Swamp. One recreational site that is a monument of historical pride is the Galera Lighthouse in Park as it speaks of the area's military history. The area of Galera Point was host to many battles during World War II. The lighthouse still stands as a testament to this time, protecting the rocky coast. It is at this point that the Atlantic Ocean meets the warm waters of the Caribbean Sea, 
an impressive sight that lures visitors every weekend. TIDCO has made it even more convenient for visitors to frequent Galera Point since they constructed a family park which boasts comfortable picnic tables and benches. Both the Tulsa Trace and Grand Terre Parks are lovely locations for a picnic. Lush vegetation surrounds the sites and there is the charm of the nearby river to add to the ambiance. The neighboring Sudama Tirath with its accompanying jetty is also a joy to visit. A holy site, it is used for prayers and religious gatherings. It is an enduring symbol of the richness and diversity of Trimbegonian culture. The diversity of our islands also extends to what is commonly called Down the Islands, a cluster of small isles off Trinidad's northwest coast. Gaspari Caves lie below ground on the island of Gaspar Grande. TIDCO assisted in its refurbishment, providing custom lighting for the fascinating geological formations, as well as upgrading the visitor facilities. These limestone caves boast a grotto-like tavern of stalactites and stalagmites, forming columns where both have fused, and a crystal clear pool that adds to the mystery of the caves. The Nelson Island Jetty is another TIDCO project done in association with the Ministry of Culture, the island itself has a rich history. Ecologically, it is an exclusive haven for tropical flora and fauna. Historically, it has been a quarantine bay for refugees fleeing Europe during World War II, as well as a detention center for dissidents during the uprisings of the 1970s. The Nelson Island Jetty is the first step in an overall restoration effort to turn the island into an historical museum. TIDCO has visitor information centers strategically placed at various sites, one of which is the Pitch Lake in La Brea. The first inhabitants of our islands, the Amerindians, were well versed in the lake's many uses. The Pitch Lake is self-replenishing, the only one of its kind in the world, and certainly the only one you can actually walk on, producing the highest grade pitch for which there is a great international demand. One of the projects undertaken under the Short-Term Tourism Development Program was the construction of visitor information centers for some of the communities that we work with. The first to be completed was the visitor information center at Brasso Seco. This facility was constructed with labor all from the community. The Visitor Information Center is meant to be a location from which the community can launch its tourism activities. And what we plan for this facility is that when two operators come into the community, they will hand over to the community at this point, and the community uh, with their trained tour guides will take visitors on guided tours of the attractions that the community has to offer. We see the um, Brasso Seco Paria um, Visitor Information Center as a catalyst to help promote, finish promote um, ecotourism in our community. Um, it would also serve as to provide all the relevant information to be had when, when as a visitor community community. Um, it will certainly help them to get a guide and food and, and all accommodations if desired. Uh, so we see this as a very integral part in the whole development of ecotourism in Brasso Seco Paria. The hyperbaric medical facility at Roxborough, Tobago, or dive chamber as it is more popularly known, was funded under a short-term tourism development program financed by the Inter-American Development Bank and the government of Trinidad and Tobago. We thought that having such a facility in Tobago would be good for promoting dive tourism. As you know, Tobago has some of the best dive sites in the Caribbean. And the facility is used for treating divers who have developed the bends. However, this is not the only use that the facility can be put to, hence the uh, reference it as a hyperbaric medical facility. We, it is also used to treat uh, diabetes and gas gangrene and so far we have treated about 24 persons for the bends and we have treated two persons for gas gangrene all successfully. 
most of our patients uh, have come from, they are visitors who have come from the United Kingdom, Germany, and United States, and we have also treated some of our own local divers. As you would expect, uh, such a specialized facility attracts a fee. And our treatment fee, we think, is the lowest in the Caribbean, if not the Western Hemisphere. Tourism is the fastest growing industry in the world with lots of jobs at all different levels. We now are trying to generate these jobs by building hotels and by attracting persons to Trinidad and Tobago. But in order to do this, we must have what we call the product up to internationally acceptable standards. And this is what we are doing in this project by trying to build our product so that whatever we have, we can make it internationally acceptable. And we are sure that we are on the right track. We have here in Trinidad advantages, comparative advantages in businesses and conferences in the Caribbean. We have advantages in honeymoons and weddings in Tobago. We have the dive industry in Tobago. We have here in Trinidad strong cultural tourism and eco-tourism and sport and golfing and so. And we feel that if we pursue these niches, we can be successful in gaining a large part of that international tourism pie. Trinidad and Tobago, islands as diverse as they are inspiring. From family parks to breathtaking beaches, serene rivers to thundering waterfalls, mysterious wonders of nature to places steeped in history and ceremony. TITCO has given you just as many ways to enjoy each of these attractions in comfort.